And well, this is a very unusual plane. Look at this. You might see it soon in the sky. They are all wing futuristic airliners that could make you look twice resembling something out of the future. Yeah, and they'll be here before you know it, reportedly taking to the skies in the early 2030s. Ooh, Chief Transportation Correspondent and Pilot May K. Beeler introduces us to the next generation commercial plane. Uh, it's called the BWB. What's so cool about this? <laughs> the BWB. Yeah. Okay, it's short for blended wing body. It's an all wing plane with a highly aerodynamic airframe and design that's turning heads. In the very early stages of development, two plane makers, Jet Zero, will produce its low drag, lightweight Z4 jets out of Greensboro's Piedmont Tried International Airport. Another startup aircraft company, Nautilus, based in California, is working on a similar model with its Horizon BWB. Both aircraft models are going to compete with the Boeing 737 MAX and the Airbus A321. Both companies plan to give the iconic aerospace giants a run for their money, courting passengers with an exceptionally comfortable flying experience. Now, airlines, they can customize the cabin configuration to offer extra roomy seating with double wide armrests, video conference pods for business flyers, and deluxe club seating for families. The BWBs have the same wingspan as the Boeing 737 and A321, but feature 40% more cabin room. The sleek airframes can burn 25 to 50% less fuel than today's commercial jets, produce half the emissions, and reduce operational cost. Hmm. I mean, make a go Greensboro. They got a lot going I on up there, right? It. You got Boom Supersonic yes. working on uh, the, overture the overture up there. Is this going to be competition with Jet Zero? It's not because they're two different cats, okay. right? Boom Supersonic's overture fly supersonic. So their whole goal is to get you, the passenger, to wherever you need to go in half the time of traditional airliners. Now, the BWB jets prioritize fuel efficiency and range rather than speed. Okay, so, I mean, we're hearing bigger seats and all that. Oh, it looks yes. great. Are there any drawbacks to this? Well, do you like a window seat? I don't mind a window seat. Mm -hmm. We're going to have yeah. to pay extra for it. The window seats are only in first class, the first oh. few okay. rows. Hmm. Everyone else, we got to look at an in-flight entertainment system that simulates the outside. Hmm. So the way that flying wing is built, only the first few rows in first class have windows. Interesting. I mean, hmm. when you think about it, I wouldn't miss it too much if you don't get the window seat because the majority, let's face it, are not window seats. But if it, you know if it's early nice morning, nice entertainment display though. Like that's all right. That's right? fine. Yeah, yeah it, it simulates it's it. It's, if you're it's, sleeping, if yeah, you know you're not going to be looking out the window because let's be honest, there's not really that much to look at most of the time. Annie, you're talking I, no, I'm so to a pilot, Annie. There's you said there's not much to not look much. at. Wait, wait, the whole yeah. planet. <laughs> Uh -oh. okay. I don't think, I mean, uh -oh. when you look down at the ground and you're flying over the desert or uh -oh. like, you know, This anyway. is someone that used to live in the desert. I, well, yeah, so. the, the desert is like a thousand shades of brown. Like I said what I said. We'll go flying sometime. Okay, I'll yeah. go with you. I'll Show go with you anytime. Show you the Take world. on a magic I, I love ride. flying. I love looking out the window, oh, no. but <laughs> I'm just trying to be positive for this jet here. It's okay if you don't have a window. We're going to try to save it, Annie. And it's very <laughs> exciting. And, and go <laughs> Greensboro. Yes. Right, That's the home of the Honda jet, too. Wow. My favorite jet to fly. So, yeah, Greensboro is an aviation mecca. Man, so, yeah, I can't wait for this. 2030, 2031. Mm -hmm. And uh, Overture Boom Supersonic should be ready to fly 2029. Wow. So, before you know it, I, I want to get my ticket now. I think you have a better chance of getting on the Overture than the Boom Supersonic, just probably judging the, the flight prices are going to be really expensive for the Supersonic jet. Overture They we'll say see. business class fares. Yeah. Okay. And Much I more don't, we don't know yet about pricing for the BWB. Yeah. We'll see. Can't wait to see that. Yeah, it's too early. Thanks for getting us back on track, Megan. You got it, Annie. <laughs> Queen City News Plus. Just search Queen City News on your smart TV's app store.